Hi everyone, this is Kate O'Connor reporting for AvWeb from Sun and Fun 2022. I'm here at Textron Aviation where they've just introduced a couple of upgrades for their piston lineup and are displaying a mock-up of their new single-engine Denali turboprop. Here's Chris Crow to tell us more. Good morning. Welcome to Sun and Fun 2022. I'm Chris Crow, the Vice President of Sales for our piston product at Textron Aviation. We're super excited to have some new upgrades and features that we're going to display today. Um, I'm standing in front of the 182. Uh, as you can see, it's painted in our 65th retro scheme, so we're super excited to celebrate the anniversary of the 182. Some of the upgrades for the product has been the uh, GI275 standby. We've also put some USB ports in the cockpit for some customer convenience and uh, some Alcantara inserts in the interior with some new flooring. We've also uh, introduced uh, earlier this year the Turbo 182 is making a comeback. We're super excited about that. Deliveries will start in 2023 and uh, we're happy to bring that airplane back to the market. We're standing in front of the Bonanza, the iconic G36 airplane. Last year we celebrated the 75th anniversary of the Bonanza delivering. We're going to be featuring that one at Oshkosh. Some upgrades as we start deliveries this quarter is going to be a standalone GI275 uh, standby indicator, uh, independent autopilot controls, three new interiors along with uh, USB C and A ports at each seat. The G58 Baron will receive all those interior upgrades as well with the LED wingtip lighting, the independent autopilot controller, the upgraded interiors with the USB ports. I'm standing in front of the brand new Beechcraft Denali. We're super excited to have the mock-up here on display. We had first flight in November of last year. The second flight test article is going to join the program next month and we plan to fly one to Oshkosh for everyone to see. This aircraft is going to feature the five-blade Macaulay prop that just, fe that just finished uh, wind tunnel testing in November. It's got the GE Catalyst engine, G3000 avionics, and a utility multiple cabin different layout. 